Chief of Defense Staff General Christopher Musa has once again assured military personnel of the government's de dedication to improving their welfare, developing their capacities, promoting based on merit, and resuming peacekeeping missions for troops. He emphasized that President Bola Tinubu's administration is focused on increasing salaries, allowances, and operational support for the armed forces of Nigeria. General Musa urged personnel to prioritize the protection of innocent civilians and respect their rights during his visit to the Nigerian Armed Forces Resettlement Center in Oshodi, Lagos. As the troops warmly welcomed the ranking military chief during his first visit to the center, it was a remarkable display of top-notch military professionalism. <laughs> He recognized the difficulties in transitioning from military to civilian roles and praised the Nigerian Armed Forces Resettlement Center in Afrique for its efforts in making this transition less distressing by providing retiring personnel with opportunities to require new skills. He discussed the impetus of improving welfare and enhancing the capacity development of the military. No evil shall befall any of us. Is that clear? Yes. But we must continue to do the right thing. We must avoid anything that will put our name in disrepute. Anything illegal. I promise you, as, as long as I remain the uh, chief of the first of the Armed Forces of Nigeria, I will safeguard the welfare, training, and well being of our personnel, all of you, from officers and soldiers. Whatever it is that we have to do to make sure that your lives are better, we will continue to do that. Because we are putting in so much that will address the issue of welfare, our salaries, our allowances, RC, operations, and all. The president has listened and is taking action on that. I'm sure very soon we get good results. Is that clear? Yes, sir. When questioned about his approach to resolving civil military clashes and other security issues plaguing the nation, particularly the recent tragedy in Okuoma community, he assured that effective measures are in place to address this security concerns. My concept is people-centric. Uh, everything we're doing is to ensure that Nigerians understand that the armed forces of Nigeria is for Nigeria. We're here to protect Nigerians, not to injure anybody, not to attack anybody, not to do anything illegal. We're only after the bad guys. And that has made it very easy for us because we have concentrated all. And then Nigerians, realizing that we're here for them, have continued to support our operations. And that's why you see that we're getting that level of calmness in what we're doing. We have remained very professional. We respect human rights in whatever it is that we do. You can see our responses all through in what they are doing. They remain very disciplined in their aspects. Uh, the president has continued to do so much for us. Uh, he, is, he loves the military. He wants the military to continue to improve in their own ability. So he's, he's promised so much and he's doing so much for us. So I want them to really understand that we have a president who is determined to ensure that the military develops fully. And then the, uh, the crop of commanders we have now, right from myself, the chief of defense staff, to my service chiefs, all other uh, commanders at every level, everybody is doing everything to ensure that Nigeria survives and Nigeria continues to develop. The defense chief also ensured thorough surveillance at the center. As the commandant, Air Vice Marshal Adini Yamenshin Lola, alongside commanders and heads of other military commands, accompanied the chief as he inspected every project and development taking place at the center. Destiny Momo, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.